The site is designed in Figma, um, and uh, the code is generated as Next.js. 80 to 90 percent of the code is generated automatically, and then you can customize it on top of it. And then in this case, it's hosted on Vercel. So let's take a look at the site before jumping into the details. Um, so this is the, the product listings page. Uh, this is a dynamic set of listings coming from uh, Shopify. Uh, we use as the backend. And uh, this is uh, a fully responsive page. Um, it goes across desktop, tablet, and mobile. Um, responsiveness built in. And you have the product listing page. You can also you know, have the product details page. Um, and this is also fully responsive, uh, desktop, tablet, mobile. In addition to this, you have functionality like uh, the, the cart um, and all of this designed in Figma, as you'll see in a second. Um, and functionality like if I add to bag, uh, it increments the cart. Right, so this is um, the, the illustration of uh, a shopping experience. You can continue to build more and more on top of it. Uh, but just to show you how it works, uh, you start with the design. Um, and in this case, uh, this is the design that was made by a designer. Uh, the link to this Figma file is available in the comments. Um, so this is my product listing page. Um, it designed with using various components. I have my header and my footer and uh, various components built into this. Um, and I have a grid set up for my product list. And this is my desktop um, in tablet and mobile uh, variants to this page. Uh, similarly, as uh, you can see, the product details page, I have my desktop, tablet, and mobile variants. Um, I have my grid set up uh, to get some recommendation products. And each one of these modules here are components um, that can be independently designed. Um, as you see from this uh, file, these are all various components that are stitched together as a page. Okay, and this is the shopping cart uh, with uh, the various components um, of the cart, um, like my list of products and my totals and, and the checkout cart. Now, as an example, let's try to build one of these uh, pages here. So let's say we want to build uh, uh, this particular page, uh, the product list page. So I select the entire frame, which has all the three uh, variants for the screen sizes. And I select this Figma to React uh, plugin from Quest. And I'm logged into my account. Um, now I select all the nested components to come in as well because there are multiple nested components in. Um, and I sync this to Quest. Great, so now this is exported to Quest. Let's go take a look at our account in Quest. So um, this is the full page um, that's been uh, uh, exported into Quest. Now this is, uh, the code is already generated. Um, this is uh, React.js or Next.js code that's already running on the browser. Um, this is in the Quest editor. Um, I can see uh, the different breakpoints are already created automatically for me for different screen sizes. Um, and the various child components already exported. So if I just go take a look at the components tab, um, I see not only the, the full page, but also the various components like footer and the product card and the product list and banner and so on. Um, now, this is fully responsive. Um, uh, it, it scales up and down and uh, also the breakpoints, it break, breaks across different screen sizes. Um, can you, let's go take a look at the code that's generated. Great, so this is the code that's generated. Um, these are, uh, this is all the, the code uh, for the app that's generated. It's a question, it's a full app for you, um, including all the various folders required. Um, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. And here, this is a code view uh, for this particular component. And on the right side is a preview um, of this component across various screen sizes, mobile, desktop, tablet. Um, and if you take a look at the, the, the code, uh, the folder view here, the file view, you can see it generated the app file as well as uh, the various files here, including the assets um, as well as the components. So you can see here, uh, this is the overall layout and you have the product card component and the um, product list component and banner or shopping um, footer, all the components generated for you. Uh, Quest also generated the, uh, the themes uh, based on the design system. So the themes are also generated the dark mode, light mode automatically generated for you the types files and uh, everything else that your component needs. Um, now, if you go back and take a look at uh, uh, the code for this particular component, um, so this is the presentation layer um, for this page. Um, you have uh, uh, the, the themes, uh, the design systems imported, um, and you have uh, the styling there and the entire presentation layer. In addition to that, 
uh, Quest also generated some use hooks. So this is where, as you'll see uh, in just a second, how you can use this use hooks uh, to, for example, um, to set up your uh, API call and uh, hook them up to uh, the various elements on the page to make them dynamic. Um, so we have this product list use hook. Um, as well as uh, the response, uh, the responsive size use hook uh, for different screen sizes, right? Um, so now you can just uh, continue to edit here, um, uh, update the use hooks here directly, or you can even uh, download the code or push this to your GitHub repository um, so everybody on the team can use this. You can find the links to the, the Figma file for this uh, shopping experience in, in, the, in the description below. As well as uh, uh, the code is in GitHub, uh, you'll also find the link to that um, uh, GitHub repository in the description below. You can learn more at uh, quest.ai. Um, you can uh, find the doc, docs at uh, docs.quest.ai uh, where you can learn more about how, how you can build this full experience um, using Quest and Figma and Vercel. Thank you.